How do you remember the cup in 95? Ah, 95 was special because it was the first time that New Zealand won the cup. And what was it your feeling about that uh, that cup? It wasn't there? Yeah, well, obviously I had a lot of good memories. Um, the first one's always special. But there were other special ones as, as well. I mean, for me, um, personally, one of, the, one, of the, one of the most special was actually with Alinghi in 2003. Um, after the Oracle accident in November and uh, some, some other accident with uh, Catamaran, how do you feel about safety in this cup? Well, you know, obviously we have to, uh, you know, be careful as a team. Um, we, the l last thing we want to do is, is injure people. So we are, we are doing a lot of work on the, on the, um, you know, mechanisms to, to make it safer. Um, but on board the boat, we wear crash helmet, life jacket. Um, we have systems to um, secure the people um, should the boat capsize. Um, and cross finger? Well, you know, not cross finger. We hopefully we, we are a bit more calculated than that. But um, we made some mistakes that day that hopefully we don't make again. Uh, you change a lot the cap. I mean, I, Oracle changed a lot the cap to move to the television. But in the first cap, in the first part of the uh, Vuitton Cup, you don't have the television. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, we have to choose where to put our emphasis. And I think the most interesting racing will be the end of the Louis Vuitton Cup. Once, once we get down to the business end of the of the series, and the America's Cup final. I think that they will be spectacular races. There will be television in the early races, but not broadcast globally. So, um, yeah, we're putting the we're we're spending the money where we think it's justified. Sailor are a little bit upset about boundaries because we have a, today on also some gold medal, gold medal got out to the boundaries. How do you feel about that? You, you think that is still a good uh, re, uh, rule? Oh, of course, it, it's um, putting boundaries on the course defines the course. It's um, the same for everyone. It's, it, it would be very hard to understand a tennis match if you could not see the lines on the court. Well, very hard to understand a football match if they did not have any lines on the defining the field. I think it's a new thing, but I think it's um, very, very important for the for the races. It forces the boats together more often. You have more situations, and the sailors just have to get used to looking at the boundaries. You will be on the boat. No, 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 no for sure. And you are, are you upset about that? Absolutely not. I mean, I take great pleasure in seeing people like uh, Tom Slingsby come through. Um, you know, I'm 51 years old now. Um, the America's Cup is challenging at a, at a range of different levels. Now I'm involved in a different in a different role, and I'm enjoying very much. I still like to compete, but as a team leader, if I cannot find a team of younger sailors that, that are better than me, then I have failed. You know, we, 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 have, we have enormous talent and we're going to use the talent to the best of our ability. I've, I've always been a person that selected or had a policy of selecting the best team on the day, no matter who that is. Only for team is, uh, is a mess for uh, this cup or uh, not? Well, I think it's unfortunate. Obviously, it'd be better if there were more teams. Um, but I think the finals will be a quality race. I think the um, the sport will grow as a result of this, particularly in the United States, significantly, and that is important for the future. Uh, you are the Mr. America's Cup, the new America's Cup. You say we win for time, but uh, have you been a Miss? Three, three, three? Time. three times as a helmsman, once as a team. Yeah, yes, four. <laughs> and uh, you have made a mistake in the last uh, campaign. Oh, the truth is, we make many mistakes. It's just a bigger one. Well, we get the we get we get, we make less mistakes than the opposition. You, that's what that's what that's what's in the past, and that's that's the policy. I'm not afraid to make mistakes, I, I, and and I encourage my people not to be afraid to make mistakes. If you're afraid to make mistakes, then you never progress. Sorry for the question. How are you the, your personal relationship uh, with uh, Larry Ellison? 
he is upset for the, the cup now or not? Of course not. Larry's thrilled, absolutely delighted with the progress in America's Cup. In fact, when he watched the uh, World Series race in San Francisco, he um, personally came up to me and congratulated me. He said, he said, this is fantastic, it's moving the sport in the right direction. You know, Larry is an innovative guy. He's a progressive guy. He's a, he's a developer of new technology. Um, he likes breaking new ground. He's not the sort of person to stand still. And many of the people that criticised this at the beginning, they like to stand still. Who will win the cup? I like our chances.